Good morning guys. Happy Friday. It is April the 10th. 1030. Guess who made breakfast? Doesn't it look like IHOP? He did a good job. I just took my prenatal. Now I'm trying to look for the charger for this camera that he bought me a few years ago so that we could take some pictures this weekend because we don't have any pictures like with both of us in it while I'm pregnant. So I was trying to look for it. Then I looked online to see how much a replacement charger was, but it was like $50. So I'm trying to see if there's a way to charge this via USB. So once I figure that out, we'll be in good shape. This tastes really good. It has fresh peppers, onions, sausage, bacon, cheese, egg. Yeah. Of course, Ronnie decides to vacuum when I'm about to vlog, but I wanted to show you that my Boo Boo's replacement shoes came. They were 30, they were a little bit more expensive, like $7 more. They were $35 on sale for $35, and then with tax, they were $37.10. Um, and I got free shipping, so I ordered them from Finish Line this time instead of Foot Action. So here they are. They do look a little longer to me, but I don't have the um, Air Max to compare them to because I already gave them to her. So maybe if I see her this weekend. Um, she can try them on also i didn't know that the air max and these ones they don't have the kid the toddler shoes don't have real shoestrings they're just like these elastic things so you don't have to tie them that's pretty cool um but yeah so these are the replacements they did come and i will give those to her the next time i see her also found some hand sanitizer in one of my old purses so i'm gonna put it in my current purse and what else one of these things is leaking so. I don't know. Anywho, um, this candle's almost gone, but it is the, what's the scent on this one? It's almost gone. It's on his last leg. Um, lemon mint leaf. Ronnie didn't like it. Actually, it just went out, so I need to burn another one. Um, we're supposed to get an Instacart order because I don't want to send him to the store anymore because they said it's not safe to go to the store. So we're supposed to get an Instacart order today between four and six. And I told you about the dresser coming um, tomorrow sometime. They haven't called me yet to tell me when it's coming, but they're supposed to call me today to let me know. But I'll probably be home all day. Then I was um, trying to charge my camera because Ryan and I decided that we don't have any pictures together during this pregnancy so we're just going to take some like you know candid shots or whatever but obviously with my bump showing and he bought me this camera for christmas a couple years ago and i haven't used it because i really need a macbook laptop to do the type of editing that i want to do um so i was just not really using it until then um because it the software that i have on my dell computer is just not good for editing i'm, I'm over it but anyway, um, I can't find the charger for it. And I thought you could charge the camera battery through USB. I have it plugged in the wall and it's not working. Um, so maybe the charger's at my mom's house because it wasn't in here. I thought it was in the nightstand drawer with this, but he moved this. Who knows where the charger is. If it's not at my mom's house, I'm going to have to order a new one. They're like 50 bucks at Best Buy. Um, but I might have to do that instead of the Amazon because Amazon is talking about some is not going to get delivered until May 2nd which is a long time away so yeah um it doesn't look like it's charging so I'm going to unplug it but we did find some more paper towels yesterday and some toilet paper I don't know what he did with the toilet paper did he put it back over here yeah you see it over there um at the CVS by my doctor's office and um so yeah that's that on that. I'm sitting up here working on some SOPs for work. And I have a one o'clock call and it is now 12. So yeah, um, we just sent one of my supervisors a message asking about something specific. So I'm just waiting on um, the response for that. And I think the other thing that I'm gonna do is um, Start working on, look at you guys' packages. You guys are great. I appreciate you and love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Our our overfull stash is getting smaller. That box can actually go in the trash now. Let me move it. So we drank all these waters. I picked up a package yesterday from my P.O. box as well. So thank you so much. Um, 
what was I about to say? Um, I think I'm going to start folding up my clothes and hanging up my clothes this afternoon after I cook dinner because um, I was going to film a, like a maternity um, summer friendly or a summer shoe haul that's maternity friendly um, for you guys. But I figure if we're going to take pictures this weekend, if I do my hair or put some curls in my hair and put some makeup on, I don't want to waste the makeup. <laughs> so I'll probably just record the shoe haul then. Um, so yeah, I also got to find a place for my cushions for outside because I don't like them over there. And it has newspaper over there because Ronnie uses the newspaper to like do something with the grill. I don't know, make a fire or something like that. I don't know what he's doing, but he uses that. So all of that stuff will go outside or wherever I choose to store those cushions. And then those orchids go outside too. I still haven't got my outdoor rug because at home store it's closed right now and it's not a necessity. Plus I really haven't been using the outside space because um, it's been a little cool. One day it was warm, but you know, I'd be working. And by the time I get off of work, it's like, I'm tired. This is what I'm gonna make for dinner. They're, they are chicken pineapple quesadillas from HelloFresh. But I'm gonna leave the pineapples off of mine because I don't like like warm or cooked fruit in my food. So that's why I left the um, kiwis out of my bowl a couple days ago as well. Um, but yeah, this is what's gonna be for dinner. So, yeah, it doesn't look like it's that hard. So, we shall see. It says it should take me a total of 40 minutes, so that's not bad. Um, and yeah, did she respond back yet? Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Nope, she sure didn't. All right, well, um. Like I said, I'm going to have to get a new candle. I actually have some candles. I keep my candles and my cleaning supplies and stuff in this cabinet right here in the family room. That's going to Goodwill. Um, and I'm running low because Ronnie's been burning them downstairs in the basement where the dogs are. These are from his apartment. The corner ones. And y'all know these are from... This one is from mine. So I have two champagne toasts, a rose water and ivy... A sun drenched linen, stress relief. I got two rose waters in ivory. I just gave him a mineral springs. There's another one back there. And the, and then I have two sun drenched linens. And I have one last pure white cotton. And I'm holding on to that one. But I may try the um cranberry pear bellini. I've never tried this one. So I'll probably try this one. Ugh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm tired. His, his TV always loud down there. Like, ugh. Gets on my nerves. Anywho. And I think he took the lighter downstairs with him. So, can y'all save these? Because I throw them in the trash. Yeah, this one was lemon meat, mint leaf. It was okay. But I'm going to try this one. I've never had it before. Cranberry pear bellini. It smells like winter time. Um, once that hardens, I'll throw it in the trash. And then hopefully he can come like that for me. But anywho. Um, talk to y'all later. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. It is April 11th. And baby girl's dresser is here. I'll show you guys the truck. I just need to sign for it. But they're getting it out of the truck now, as you can see. And it's just threshold delivery. So they're going to just leave it um, in the foyer area. Hold on while I sign this. And then Ryan went to work. So hopefully when he comes home, Either Justin can come over, which is my neighbor's husband, or I can call my brother to help him get it upstairs. Hopefully they don't break anything. What's the day? 10.34 a.m. Alright, let's go. Turn the camera around.
Okay guys, so here it is. This is the Evalor Aurora Pink, blush pink matching dresser. I'm hoping it's not damaged. I think it's inside of another box or something in it. I don't know. Um, but they got me to sign and they left it right there in front. And look, they got my rug dirty, so I'm gonna have to clean that again. But they left it in front of the, the um, laundry closet door. So I had to like just push it over here because I'm about to start on her laundry as soon as I go to Target. I placed the Target pickup order um, for some dressed laundry detergent, baby laundry detergent, because I don't have any. So I want to start washing her clothes. And then um, I also placed a pickup order at Target for some of, excuse me, um, for some 12 packs of sodas and lemonades and stuff for the refrigerator downstairs and also for my mom's house for Easter. And then there's a couple things that I need to get from the grocery store, like dessert wise for Easter. I placed the Instacart order yesterday and they literally had to replace like 90% of my items or refund them. So that was not fun at all, but I'm really happy her dresser came. Really, really excited. Um, I'll show you guys the clothes that I need to wash. It's quite a bit of them. Like I said, I'm just gonna wash the newborn and the zero to three months clothing right now. And then I have all the other sizes packed away. I can't show you guys the wall, but this is where the dresser is gonna go. I'm gonna move that stuff, but it's gonna go on this wall. And then everything in here is newborn and zero to three months like all of these boxes. So all of this stuff needs to be washed. Oh, I also need to get her a basket. I could probably just use this for the meantime. Um, but we'll see how much stuff it is. So let me dump this stuff in a bin and take it downstairs. And yeah, and then we're gonna go get that stuff. Okay guys, so this is all of her newborn stuff. Um, as you can see, it's mostly folded up. So it's quite a lot of stuff. I threw the stuff in the hangers. I'll take those off when I get downstairs. And then the stuff that's hanging up is zero to three months and three months. And then these are all the bins that have um, zero to th no, three to six months, six to nine months. And that's nine all the way to like 2T. And then all of this stuff, all four of the three three boxes and one big bag is zero to three months or just plain three months stuff. Some stuff her grandparents bought her and a lot of this stuff was handed down for my two nieces. So I'm going to take this downstairs and then, um, yeah, I'm going to get something to eat, shower. So I emptied these two boxes here, um, shower and then. Hopefully they will email me or text me and tell me my Target pickup order is ready to go. These are the diapers that we have so far. We don't have like a lot, but we have something to get us started. Um, so we have some newborn Huggies. And then we have stage um, one, stage one, two, stage ones and Huggies. One stage one in Pampers. We have a stage four only because that's all the store had. And then we had some stage twos and loves and stage three and huggies. So we'll get some more. Um, these are all diapers too that my sister gave me. Some of these are like these are premium. I think she got these from the hospital. But they have a lot of newborn stuff in here too. They're just out of the pack. And then there's these huggies, this whole sleeve. It's newborn, one, I mean, size one huggy. And then, I don't know what brand this is, but this is size one, never opened as well. And then there's a sleeve of size ones. I believe these might be loves. I think, I don't know. But hopefully baby girl can use them. And then I showed you guys that. Um, with the little... That's on it. I was thinking about washing some of these, which comes, but I haven't shown them to you yet. The swaddle blankets and stuff. 
So I'll do another load of those later. I do have some blankets in the wash already. I don't think I put, did I put some, oh, some washcloth. That's fine, I can wait. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this downstairs and yeah, and now that we have the dresser in here, I'm gonna use some Clorox wipes to wipe it all down and wipe out the drawers. And then hopefully I can get someone to help me spray paint these four because that's gonna go above the dresser. And I may spray paint these butterflies that I showed you guys on my Instagram a while ago um, because I think this gold color is gonna be off from the gold that's in on the picture frames. And then this one was already pink, which I don't think it looks bad. So I may leave those th th that same color pink. Um, and then all of these are going to be spray painted white and gold as well. Um, hold on. I see more. I don't know if she's going to use these bibs right away. I think I showed you guys these. I don't know. Um, I feel like they're kind of big for her, but I may use them. I may wash them. And then this is size newborn so it needs to be washed as well um i'm glad i went over here you guys i have some other stuff and then these are some socks i don't know her grandmother bought her these they're the six month socks so i'll probably wash those and what is this oh these are um mittens and some other bibs my sister gave me so these need to be washed as well so that's going to be the laundry for this first round and then whatever we decide to buy her or whatever other gifts we get that are clothing, I will wash them as well. This is going to be the first, like, probably two loads. I'll probably split that in two. Um, and then, yeah, let me get this from under here. And I need to bring this downstairs, so I need to um, turn the camera off. But, yeah, we're making progress. This is the only stuff that we still have. And like I said, some of this stuff is... Um, nursery organization stuff so once I start organizing once we get the closet together all that stuff I'll be able to zoom through this stuff and put it all away and stuff so yeah talk to you guys later you guys oh my god I look like a boy today but I did shower and all that good stuff I am clean I just have on chill clothes like an oversized um, black t-shirt a sports bra and some oversized joggers that I had before I was pregnant that are still too big for me now that I am pregnant. I got my Clorox wipes here. Target still has not contacted me to tell me that my curbside pickup order is ready. Um, but like I said, I have to go run one more errand. Um, but guess where I am, y'all? I have not driven my car in almost a month. a month. It's been in the garage. Ronnie swapped the cars today um, because he was blocking me in and I didn't want to be trapped in here while he was at work all day because I need to get the detergent so I can start on baby girl's clothes. Ooh, it feels so good to be in my vehicle. Ooh, I miss you, baby. Let me wipe her down. This is our last container of Clorox wipes. This was a big pack of 70 that I had from couponing. Um, and yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do after this because all the other couponers that I follow on IG, they always post, oh, go to Amazon now. By the time I get there, they're already sold out. So, you know, I don't know what we're gonna do um, after these, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Do my gear shift, all my buttons. Yeah, I'm in my car. And it's clean up here. I got gas. Oh, y'all, never happens. Anyway, anywho, um, let me not mess up my um brand new pretty bumper, cause that would be horrible. Anywho, um, I bought a trimmer from Home Depot, and Ronnie trimmed up the uh yard. He didn't finish it, but because he said it was too windy that day. And then what else did we buy? I bought some um weed and feed um because all i have is weeds so he's trying to kill that um but we'll see if it actually happens um i do have my mask i have my gloves all that stuff as well and like i said i'm just going to do curbside pickup um for the drinks and the detergent and then i do have to stop at the grocery store to get 
some dessert and some spaghetti sauce because they sent me this really small can of spaghetti sauce yesterday. It's the cart, you know. Ugh. I literally had to stay in the app with them the whole time while they shopped for like an hour because every single thing he was asking to either substitute or refund. Every single thing. And I ordered 40 items. Um, and that still came up to, uh, he canceled a lot of things and it still came up to like 160 some dollars. So just like, ugh, jeez. But anywho, I probably need to add some air to my tire. I hate I need to get my rim fixed. Yeah, I'm on 13. Yikes, that's horrible. I need to get my rim fixed immediately. Um, and Ronnie hasn't been putting air in my tire because I haven't been going anywhere. So, yeah, I need to tend to that. Oh, you guys. I have not driven anywhere in so long. Like, so long. It's been almost a month since I've driven anywhere. And when I go to the doctors or wherever we need to go that's essential, we used to take Ronnie's cars because mine was already inside of the garage. So, yeah. <sighs> the Amish market is jam-packed. Anywho, I didn't want anything. That's all I wanted, y'all. Um, I got some pictures of baby girl. They just did her head because that's all they needed to take. Um, let me cover up some stuff. But this is her. I'll show y'all when I get home. Anywho, um, I got all the other pictures the last week. Uh, I mean the last month. Um, and they told me that they should not be charging me a second time for them finishing the anatomy scan, so we shall see. Like I said, I already got a $300 or $295 bill for the anatomy scan, so um, it's not my fault they didn't finish it or they couldn't get pics or whatever, but they got what they needed this time. They said everything looks cool, so that's good. They said she moves a lot, which I know now because her movements are getting way more, um, mm, I don't wanna say like pronounced or hard. I don't know, I can just feel them a lot more and it almost feels as though I can feel them on the outside. Like, the feeling I have on the inside feels like I should be able to feel them on the outside, but I really haven't tried yet. Um, so hopefully within the next week. Oh, I need to put some lotion on, y'all. Um, hopefully within like the next week or so, I should be able to feel the movements and stuff. I also wanna get some um, belly bands, belly buds or whatever, so that I can play music to her. So I may get those the next time I get paid. And then I was thinking about getting a baby Doppler, but I really don't need one um, because I'm, I'm about to start going to um, the doctors every two weeks after this next appointment. So I'll get a heart rate, you know, during those times. But like I told you, her heart rate this time was 160, um, which was a little high. They said it's normal, but it was higher, higher than the other ones, which were like in the... Um, low to mid 150s and they said that was because she was moving so yeah no she was moving um what else I have to take my glucose test the next time I think I told you guys that I chose the lime flavor and they gave it to me told me to take it home and to drink it within three minutes one hour before my appointment so yeah and then when I told my friends they were like oh you should got orange but I've always heard everybody say they're disgusting it either way. So I'm just going to chug the lemon lime or lime, whatever flavor it is, and just call it a day. That's what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. Um, I feel like there's something on my nose. Um, 
wallflowers off my wall because whenever they move something up my stairwells because it's like such a tight turn I always just take the flowers off um, because I don't even know Target makes them anymore and I don't want to have to find another replacement for those so I just take them off um, and go from there they usually are okay with the mirrored frames that are on the wall I just tell them to just be very very careful of those but yeah so here's my vans and my air maxes I need to bring those in the house but anyway I will talk to you guys later I didn't even bring me anything to drink and this water has been here way too long for me to drink it oh well I'll talk to you guys later have a happy Saturday you guys stay safe um doing all your essential work and are any of you guys doing home projects what's up what you doing um, I'm not really, I don't have anything else planned except for to focus on the nursery. So, um, once we get the dresser upstairs and I can get like some of her clothes and stuff in there, um, then I'll do the other loads of the zero to three month stuff. Um, and then we are going to focus on probably ordering the glider. Um, I found one that I really like. It's by Delta Children. It's called the Middle Middleton. I like it in the color cream and it has silver nail head trim on it and it looks really really like glam and really nice it's four hundred dollars but if i order it from bye bye baby of course i get like eighty dollars off because they have a twenty percent off coupon that i can use um the issue is the nail heads are silver and the accent color in the room is gold so i'm wondering if it even matters um, a couple people said it didn't they do have one that is very similar it's called the preston it just it looks very similar except it doesn't have the nail head trim and it's a little bit maybe like 50 dollars cheaper not that much cheaper but everybody else is telling me to go ahead and get the middleton one and that it won't clash it'll be fine the only thing i was worried about is the pink ottoman pink and white ottoman that i purchased from ross has a gold band around it so that pushed up in front of the glider is that going to clash with the silver nail head trim but maybe not i feel like it'll be okay um because the room it will be so you know whimsical and glam and stuff like that i feel like it'll be okay so i think my gut is telling me to just go with the one that i like and i originally saw that on someone's youtube video they were having a boy though and it was in their nursery and they said where they said um they had a link to it in the description box so i went to it and i was like this is really really nice and target sells it as well um wayfair sells it but not in the cream color and they sell it for way more like six hundred dollars and then like i said bye bye baby sells it for four hundred dollars as well target is four hundred as well but you can't use or they don't have any coupons or deals right now so i'll probably go with bye bye baby even though um I have to pay like shipping is free but you have to pay like a ten dollar surcharge since it's a large box or a large item um which is better than the sixty dollars i paid for the threshold shipping for the dresser and i had to wait two weeks in one day amazon would never i think amazon has it as well for 400 and you probably get really quick delivery but i can save eighty dollars for really 70 because i have to pay the extra 10 for the surcharge i can save 70 dollars if i just be patient and if i order it from baba baby and just be patient and i'm pretty sure when i talk to ronnie about it he's going to say to save the 70 dollars because that 70 dollars could go towards purchasing something else for the room um so i understand that that's fine um and like i said i have the frames for the gallery um wall project that i'm going to do above her dresser i have the spray paint so hopefully um he can help me with that it's no real rush but i mean we have the stuff we can get it done um the reason why it's no real rush is because i never bought the out the um letters that i need um from from michaels i know they have them because i kind of played around with them in the store but i was just like oh it's early i'll come back for the letters and then the virus hit so <laughs> um i have to wait until stores open back up to get the letters i'm hoping that it's well before baby girl's arrival and well before i get to the point where i'm just like over it i'm also hoping that um maternity photographers open back we are able to open back up for business soon because i would hate to have to go through this journey this be my only journey if you know through um bringing a child into the world and me not able to capture it with some really nice pictures which is my thing so i don't know those are just my hopes we'll see if it happens or not um ronnie and i were supposed to be taking some candid shots this weekend just because we don't have any pictures of us together while i'm pregnant i can't find my charger my camera charger um for the battery i think it's at my mom's house if not i have to pay 50 dollars and get another one i'm really annoyed about that um 
but we'll just use my phone. So maybe tomorrow on Easter we'll take some. But I'm not planning to like dress up or, or anything. I'll just wear something that I already have. Um, just shows off my bum. But anyway, um, yeah, I think I think that's it. So yeah, um, and like I said, I'm gonna spray paint when we spray paint the um, four frames. I'll probably spray paint the gold butterfly art as well um, because it's the wrong color gold probably so um, yeah and then I'm on the hunt for some gold and white shelves like gold brackets with white shelves I saw some at um, Amazon and I was going to order them and then I didn't and when I went back to order them they were all sold out so I haven't checked in like the last week um, but yeah I want to put up two shelves one side of the window and then with the pottery barn stuff um and I, like i told you guys i really want to wait until the store opens back up because i'm not trying to pay 70 dollars in shipping and i still want to use my 20 percent off as well so we'll see and that store is not cheap but from what i hear it's like quality items that will last like a very long time so what's the light fixture that's not something that the light fixture and the lamp that's not something that i anticipate breaking or malfunctioning or anything and then with the window treatments even though they sell them by panel which I hate it reminds me of the gallery um and they are very expensive they're 119 dollars I think a panel um I only need two panels which is still not cheap um but I'm hoping that she will keep those curtains for quite some time so they are in a blush colored pink as well and they're really really pretty I really like them and I think they'll coordinate well in the room um I just would like a little sticker shop well, about them like they're really expensive but you know it is what it is um i was talking to my friend karen she was just like bite the bullet you're gonna be in there a lot you're gonna have to look at them every day you know it's worth it and then once she gets a little older they can still coordinate if you read her room or whatever so she's right um i want to get what i want now and then it'll be done and i don't have to worry about it until i'm ready to you know give her a more big girlish room or you know whatever so I'm gonna get I know I'm gonna get the stuff from um, the pottery barn as well but I'm gonna get the glider first so that all the furniture pieces are out of the way I'm probably gonna send Ronnie to get the um, blinds um, for the window from Home Depot the next time he has to go there for something else I'll just tell him to pick them up I've already measured the window and everything um, so yeah and I don't even think in my area they sell the corded ones anymore so that's good like it'll be the cordless which is great because the corded ones were a choking hazard for children and that would drive me crazy in her toddler years just knowing that i mean they have the thing that you can put on the wall to wrap the cord and keep it out of the children's reach but kids get into stuff so now i think that they don't even sell those anymore i think they just sell the ones that pull up and pull down which i really like and they're not that expensive i could probably get the blinds for that window for like 30 bucks um so i'll tell him to grab those the next time he's in depot and they're really easy to install i put them in clients houses i put them in my own house so yeah um and then i need to get them for the, the living room on the main level of the house as well but anywho i will talk to you guys later Bye. all right y'all going in <laughs> um i hate the smell of lysol and i have i spray down my gloves and my my, um, my mask with Lysol. Y'all, oh my god. This is crazy. It's so crazy to see everyone like this in the world. What's going on? Um, oh, these gloves, jeez. Alright, let me go grab what I need and I'll be back. big um spaghetti sauce that i needed the exact one i came to a different giant though um in buoy and then i got a six pack of easter cupcakes for the kids i got some sugar easter cookies for the kids i got some <laughs> vanilla iced um pre-sliced cake an apple pie and a pound cake right yeah so those are the desserts um 
and then I got me some Reese's ice cream because that was on my list actually and they couldn't find it in the store yesterday I didn't get any ice cream from my parents house because usually when I bring ice cream for like events and stuff like that nobody really eats it unless it's like a birthday party so let me get that and then as soon as I was getting in the car I get a notice from Target pickup that um, my order is ready for curbside pickup so I'm gonna go there they're gonna put the drinks in the detergent in my car and that's it and that's all folks um, so I was definitely in and out I did have to wait a little bit in line in there because they don't have that many people working so you have to wait for um self checkout which I hate because it's like I don't know I have my qualms about self checkout I just feel like companies are getting lazier and lazier but anyway um uh oh my pound cake flipped over um yeah so now I'm passing Walmart and believe it or not Walmart still looks kind of packed I dare not go in there I don't need anything out of there um at all so yeah I'm about to go do this um curbside pickup it took about two hours and 20 minutes about half the time which wasn't bad I timed it perfectly then I think I'm going to drop some of this stuff off um at my mom's and then get on back home Ronnie should be off in the next couple of hours hopefully I'm actually really thirsty I should have brought me something to drink while I was in there it is what it is I forgot my drink oh lordy all of these vehicles and you would stop there but anyway um i've never actually done curbside pickup at target so we'll see if i like it or not but yeah i'm happy that i got everything i need to do that was another 35 dollars on top of the 160 i spent yesterday on groceries um but they get you I, i'll show you guys the little pasta sauce they sent me like what am i gonna do with this i cook um, a big batch of like spaghetti and stuff pastas and stuff when I make it because I want it to last a few days like and they sent me the smallest jar ever um, so I needed to get the family size jar and then like I said I had to get the desserts um, and then Target had a Target circle deal um, where you got each you got 35% off of each of the 12 pack, the long pack of sodas, or some of them had like lemonades and stuff. They didn't have any teas, which I wish they did. Um, but so they were $4.99 or $5 and you got 35% off, which made them like three something. Um, so I got them from there because I needed to get the uh, baby laundry detergent and the grocery store that was closest to my house. I think they had them for the same, no, actually, Target's 35% off made them $3.33, and they were $3.99 at the grocery store closest to my house, but the grocery store closest to my house did not have the baby detergent, so I didn't want to have to go too many places, I just wanted to have to get the desserts and then grab the rest of the stuff, so two stops, that's it. So yeah, that's what I'm on the way to do, and hopefully they can put them in the car. Yeah, I think they can and that'll be it so I'm gonna have to read the instructions on what it says to do when I get there but I'm pretty sure it's just like click a button and say I'm here in, in one of the cars um, so yeah and I like this target way better they usually have a better selection um, than some of the other ones in my area so yeah know that I'm here by pushing a button so they should be bringing my stuff out and putting it in my back seat hopefully they will here is the guy right here perfect this is gonna be perfect oh uh, no you can put it in the back seat right here thank you hold on guys
Thanks again. Well, I really appreciate it. You too. Alrighty. Y'all, that was as easy as one, two, three. Um, so now, let me go drop this diesel puff off to my mama house. And then I'm headed home. Yeah. Which my mom lives five minutes away from me. Seven to be exact. But yeah, that was good. I didn't have to go in the house. I mean, that was perfect. They just brought it right up. Oh, Target. Yes, I love Target. No more mom, but never. Anywho, let me stop playing around. Ronnie just called and said he's off work now. It's one o'clock and he's headed to drop off something at his mom's house, which is on the way home. <laughs> So yeah, I told him I was, I was picking up the laundry detergent for baby girl stuff, and I told him that the dresser came so that he needs um, someone to help him move it, and um, yeah, so I'm headed, headed out of here, you guys, I'm headed out of here, Pure one, ah, y'all, yeah. just so much, I'm missing, there's Michael's, oh. saw how easy it was it was literally me just going into my target app saying i'm on my way and then saying i'm here and then confirming i'm here pulling up in the pickup and then that's it and i got all of these drinks let me oh the green light hold on um i got a pink lemonade for my house and my mom's house i got a regular lemonade for my house i got an orange for my mom's house and a grape Oh, and a Sprite for my mom's house. And then I got a grape for my house. So two lemonades and a grape pack of grape sodas for my house, for the basement. And then I got um, a pink lemonade, an orange, and a Sprite. Oh my God. For my mom's house. All those sodas. He stacked them up really, really high, um, which is really annoying. But anyway, I'll let my cousins take them out of the car but anywho let me show you guys the um cupcakes i got for the kids mia is going to love these it looks like little rings the uh, bunnies are rings and then it there's the three that say happy easter i don't think those are rings those are just pigs but there's three um rings so that's cute and then like i told you guys i got the other desserts and i got them some spring cookies spring sugar cookies too with sprinkles on them nothing but sugar so they're supposed to have like an easter egg hunt outside for a little bit tomorrow we'll see how that goes but yeah i'm thirsty actually anywho i am headed out of here talk to you guys later i just did the eggs with the kids they did like some tie-dye looking ones then i cleaned up the table and now i'm headed home got this draft which this crap was expensive anyway um, and I just loaded in most of the stuff. This is all the stuff with still the tags on it. And then in this small bag is like mittens and a few bibs. So I'll do that as like a small load. But everything else is in there. And I'm about to fill her up and get her started. This is going upstairs. It's still Saturday evening. It is about 10 o'clock at night they're uh, putting the legs on the dresser upstairs but i just wanted to show you that i did make the chicken pineapple quesadillas i put my pico de gallo on the side and then sour cream on the side to dip as well i didn't want to put it on top but i left the pineapples out of mine because i don't like cooked fruit in my food but his has the pineapples in it i just ate my pineapples um without cooking them but anyway this is dinner tonight <laughs> let me go upstairs and check on them